guys, this is the holy grail of abandoned mansions, I swear. Vincent Van Gogh were stored here. So Mo apparently got attacked by a vulture. They want to attack something. <laughs> you go first. Is that a big vulture? Oh yeah. Big mama right there. Alright, you ready, Kyle? Let's do it. Let's go down to the basement. I heard there's actually tunnels down here that lead miles and miles. Used to be like an escape route that they built. impressive neoclassical mansion located in Philadelphia was built from 1897 to 1900. For businessman Peter A.B. Widener, this extravagant estate often referred to as the last American Versailles served as a symbol of opulence during the Gilded Age. It boasted luxurious interiors, a remarkable art collection, and hosted elaborate social gatherings. The mansion's construction cost was $8 million in 1900, equivalent to approximately $256 million today when adjusted for inflation. Among its notable features, the mansion's ballroom had a capacity of 1,000 people. The mega mansion covered 70,000 square feet and included 55 bedrooms, 20 bathrooms, a magnificent great hall with a grand staircase, an indoor pool, an art gallery, and a thousand-person ballroom. The history of this grand residence is marked by tragedy, as it is associated with the Titanic disaster. Despite being a 20% investor in the Titanic, Peter Widener, who was approximately 78 years old at the time, chose not to board the ill-fated ship in 1912. Instead, he decided to bring his family back to their $8 million Elkins Park home in style. Unfortunately, only his daughter-in-law survived the journey, as George and Harry perished at sea, casting a shadow over the family and the estate. The Titanic sank in 1912, and Peter Widener passed away three years later in 1915. He left the opulent mansion, known for his gilded gold doors, to his youngest son, Joseph, who also passed away in the house in 1943. In 1952, a radio broadcaster named Reverend Carl McIntyre, known for his anti-communist stance, converted the mansion into a religious school named Faith Theological Seminary. Financial troubles eventually led to the foreclosure of the property in 1992. During McIntyre's tenure, many of the mansion's exquisite furnishings and historic elements were sold off, and damaged areas of the building were sealed off rather than being repaired. Ownership of Linwood Hall was then transferred to the First Korean Church of New York in 1996, and this transfer was recorded with a sale price of zero dollars. Over time, the mansion fell into disrepair and was ultimately abandoned, resulting in its current deteriorated condition. Recent efforts have been undertaken to preserve and restore the historic property, with plans to transform it into a public cultural space and museum. What's up, Ronin fam? Before we dive into today's content, I just want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, NordVPN. This tool has been such a game changer for me. It's not just any VPN. It's a service that fiercely protects your internet connection and privacy online. Now, I've been using NordVPN for a while now, and let me tell you, it's made a world of a difference. With just a click, I can secure my online activities, and it's super easy to use. Whether I'm browsing at home or on public Wi-Fi, I feel safer knowing I'm protected. Plus, with over 5,500 servers in nearly 60 countries, I've always got a fast connection. And it's amazing for accessing global content, which is very important for me as a content creator. But it's not just about speed. For my tech-savvy friends out there, NordVPN takes security to another level. We're talking diskless servers, an automatic kill switch, and even double VPN for extra encryption. And let's not forget Nord Links. It's insanely fast. Privacy is a big deal for me, and NordVPN respects that. They don't track or share your online activities, and your data is guarded with top-notch encryption. It's comforting to know 
that my digital footprint is of my own. For those worried about online threats, NordVPN has got you covered with its advanced anti-malware feature, Threat Protection. It keeps you safe from malware, trackers, and even annoying ads that we all hate. And if you're into TV and gaming, NordVPN opens up a world of possibilities. No more geo restrictions or bandwidth throttling. Lastly, their 24 seven customer support and 30 day money back guarantee show they truly stand behind their service. So if you want to experience the internet without borders while keeping your data private and secure, check out NordVPN. Trust me, it's worth it. So what are you guys waiting for? Visit nordvpn.com slash Steve Ronin to receive four bonus months with the purchase of a two year plan. Now let's get back to the adventure. There she blows, just right in front of us. Just nuts, right here around me is the little bridge, this is their driveway, and this is how they would drive up to their mansion. Wow, this is crazy. I can't believe we're exploring this today. Guys, this is the holy grail of abandoned mansions, I swear. One of the best abandoned mansions in the world. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's try to get in. But before we do, smash the like button guys. Let's try to get this video to over 10,000 thumbs up. So we just entered into one of the classrooms here. There's over 110 rooms. So it's gonna be a pretty long explore. I'm gonna try to film as much as possible. Oh man, it's super hot too. We got a piano here. I have the books still laying on the desk. Workshop and service. Leave a comment down below if you ever read one of these books. Man, this classroom is super unique. I mean, when you look up, check out the woodwork. Oh my goodness. Damn, the door to the classroom would be like a sliding wooden door. That's legit like 20 feet tall. I don't even know where to begin in this room. I'm just looking all over the walls, the ceilings. There's so much attention to detail in this place, it's unbelievable. I'm legit filming this in 8K now, just to get a better quality in the low light. Gosh, look at this fireplace. It's probably the most magnificent fireplace I've ever seen. What's this thing made of? Oh gosh, crazy. Can you believe they like carved this? Amazing. This is too beautiful to just be rotting away. And check out that emblem. I think that's a little gun over there. My goodness. Curtains too. Really match the room nice. It's gold color. I can just imagine it. If the sun came through its room beaming, be glowing gold inside. Their piano right here. Wow. There's also face shapes too, carved in. But I'm loving the angels right there. Looks like this could have been a Bible. This was like a church room. I love the floors in this place too. It's absolutely stunning. And look, we're walking right to the main hall now. What the hell? Unbelievable, guys. Never thought I'd be here one day exploring this place. But here we are. Would you look at this? We've entered the main hall. We're right in the center of everything. The stairways that lead upstairs to the nursery and probably the bedrooms. But look at all around us too. Everywhere you see these symbols. They have, I'm not sure if they have meaning to them. But oh man, it sure makes this place feel so grand and like magnificent and holy. Oh, and then you look up and it just even gets more incredible. Face right here, right there, every corner. Kind of looks like they're watching me. The railings too. We'll get a closer look when we go upstairs. 
Looks like over here we have this little private room. Kind of reminds me of a ballroom. That's probably what it was. Everywhere you look, no matter what, the walls or ceiling are completely different. Man, that's a big mirror. So I'm gonna walk down here. The library. This was the main entrance to get inside the building. Oh wow, it's like a little living room here. Two of them actually. This is clean. They're all offices. Good place to do business. Oh, yo, look at this, documents. What is it? It's like the Korean guy, the Korean family. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Actually, that's from Taipei, I don't know. I guess these are the new owners. Yeah, I guess this is like an office area, obviously. Looks like down here is some sort of dining hall. I love how everything is still here. It kind of reminds me of like a kid's playroom. Got a big giant stuffed animal. Wonder whose toys this belonged to. This place hasn't been lived in for years. The window right there is completely broken off. I guess this could have been some sort of library at one point. Of course, every fireplace here is equipped with a 20-foot mirror. Oh, is that a safe? It is. Could have kept, like, money in here. Can we open it? Oh, it's way too heavy. And rusted up. I'm not sure what's in this corner. Oh, wow. It's like another ballroom. This one seems in rough condition though. There's a lot of flies flying around here. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna check that room out. So Mo apparently got attacked by a vulture that like puked on him. <laughs> Where? It stinks so, dude, when it looked at me, it just went bleh. And it puked out some bloody animal. It's in through that hole. Some bloody animal? It's not gonna attack you. It was trying to feed its babies, I think. It won't attack something. You, you, you go first. Is that a big vulture? Oh yeah. Big mama right there. Oh, dude, I can hear him growling. Wait, shine your light? Yeah, you can see him. Just come on through. Oh my god. Yeah, he's mad. It oh. puked something when it saw me. He's trying to feed its um babies, huh? Yeah, it had like a rat in its mouth or something. I don't know, it's covered in blood. I think they puke it just to make it easier for the babies they to eat. They regurgitate their food. That's yeah. what they do for the kids. Wow. Wait, should I again? You sound mad, my friend, but we won't do anything. Damn, that thing is massive. <laughs> <laughs> this place is a million percent abandoned. <laughs> yeah, 100 percent. We're on the third floor. There's actually a second floor down there. So let's head back down really quick. I don't want to miss anything in this place. Here's how the railing looks. Even when you go down the stairway, the view looks incredible. I mean, look at the pillars behind them have the design too to it. We can actually get a really close look. Does anyone know what these symbols could mean? If or not they have meaning, leave a comment down below. Right in the second floor. It's pretty dark, but I think my camera is handling it really well. Wow, everything is still organized as it was. You have the front desk. Still has paper. Yeah, you should go down there. It's like a library. Oh, no, this is the art gallery. Oh, the art gallery. Alright, so I don't know if you know this, but so. this is super dark, but a lot of people think this is a library. There's two art galleries here. One, I'm not sure if this is it, but one's called the Van Gogh Art Gallery. This okay. house held priceless. Like like, like, not like Mona Lisa, but like priceless paintings of Vincent Van Gogh were stored here Damn. in this mansion. That's insane. That's literally like not clickbait, nothing. Like you can look that up. Like there's <laughs> like priceless pieces, art pieces of Vincent Van Gogh in this house. That's awesome. Obviously it was then later put in museums and stuff, but 
You think this they took them all out? Yeah, I yeah, think I haven't so. seen any. <laughs> Definitely, but this is one of the this is one of the galleries for sure. All right, I think it's time to enter down here. What the heck? There's so many bookshelves. This must have been the library. Oh, what do we have here? We got some old newspaper. This one dates back to 1969. Down here looks pretty destroyed. Just keeps going down and down. This is another library room. This one used to have biographies and Miss Samari stories. And look, there's light switches on them, on the bookshelves. We got some glass ceilings. I'm pretty sure light used to come down here, but I'm not sure what's blocking it now. Wow, the door is pretty unique too. Never seen anything like it before. Yeah, again, you got faces carved. Some of the rooms are in pristine condition and some of them are just deteriorating, like this one here. You can hardly see what was the wallpaper. It's crazy to think I'm exploring this mansion. Never would have thought I'd be doing this. I mean, this place has so much history. Wow, look at this room. Probably the most worst condition room I've ever seen in here, but this probably has the best ceiling I've seen so far. That's a pretty dangerous room though. I feel like something can fall any moment. Giant book. Looks like an encyclopedia of some sort. So we're back, so we're back over here. Huh, I'm not sure what these rooms could have been. Skylight in this room. So here's one of the rooms on the hallway. The first one, looks like it had some interesting stuff. You got yourself a bathroom. With a nice iron tub. <sighs> Looks like that counter is made of marble. Yeah, we got some documents here. Wonder what some have. I'm just gonna read a label. Journal of Religion. Christian Periodical Index. Looks like a lot of religion documents were here. Library records. Still labeled there. Periodical records, book supplies. You don't see this too often. This is really vintage. You got some cards. I'm sure a lot of the rooms kind of look like the one we just went into. Ooh, a little bedroom with twin beds. You can sleep in here if you wanted. Oh, we have a calendar here. Dating back to 2000. I guess this place was used once in a while. Moving forward down. Just don't want to miss anything, you know? A little empty office room. And looks like it's attached to this room over here. check the opposite side really quick but it's like the same layout so I don't think there's really much difference it smells funky in here oh man yeah this is in rough shape oh whoa this room is still neatly organized wow we got an old vintage typewriter too Definitely seeing a lot better furnished rooms on this side. This bedroom is pretty nice. Let's take a look down here. It's close. What the hell is this room? We got film strips here. Let's take a look at one. Oh wow, they're 
other photos of the inside of the place. This one's a photo of a Christmas tree. Can't really make out what this is. This one is a photo of a kid. This room has a lot of interesting stuff. Are those nuts? Oh, those were dog food. Of course, golf clubs would be here. The other door is locked, but this door is wide open. Oh, whoa. This is a neat room. Check out this photo. I feel like I'm traveling back in the past. There's another photo, too, on this table. Guy playing football. There's a painting on the wall. This could be all the family stuff left behind. Marble fireplace. There's photos of like these baseballs. Huh. Probably like signed by someone famous, by like a famous baseball player. I love finding books in abandoned places. It makes me curious, you know, what these people were reading. Alright, guys, finally, I think this is the last floor we have to explore. This place is massive. Like I guess in the beginning, this place has over 110 rooms. Um, so far, I haven't really seen that much. But maybe this third floor will have many rooms to see. Let's start from the left. I just walked over here. I want to show you guys a better glimpse of how everything is carved on the ceiling. <sighs> so crazy. I've seen something like this only once in my life, and that was a mansion in Europe that I explored a couple years ago. But not as big as this place. Alright, starting on the left side. So crazy. I love how everything is painted white. Almost feels like you're in heaven. Empty rooms. Jeez, really, there's nothing so far but empty rooms. This is the last one. Probably some of the oldest rooms here. Looks like they keep up with the bottom floor and not the upstairs. This room is completely stripped. <sighs> Keeps going too. It's like an attached bedroom. But these are massive rooms. This one had a kitchen. Huge giant walk-in closet with shoe racks. There's an elevator shaft. Don't want to be falling down there. Oh god, the vulture was right in this room. We're not going in there. Check it out. This is the opposite side. Pretty much the same. A lot of empty rooms. This one has an incredible fireplace. I like the color in this room. Nearing towards the end of this hall. Can we open this? Uh, nope. What about these doors? Uh, these ones aren't shut tight. I wonder why. Maybe we can enter it through here. I can see a hole right there. Not, no room has let me down so far. This one could have had some sort of painting on the ceiling at one point. I want to go to the stairs, but I think we can find another way around. As we just made it to the next floor, this is a skylight. What's crazy is that there's multiple floors where the sun would shine through these ceiling windows right here and bring it all the way down to, all the way down here to shine this thing. This hallway is just really empty. There's really nothing 
at all above the second floor but I just want to show you you know it's good to just explore and check because you don't want to miss anything but so far nothing and anything inside nothing really crazy to show or photos to take in them same now I'm pretty sure the opposite side is also the same it looks exactly like this the fourth that we just explored were for the guests. Upstairs should be for the servants and the workers here. Pretty crazy if you can imagine it, having like hundreds of people, guests and workers just living in your mansion. It's nuts, but let's head up. Okay, so we got to the very top floor. Oh man, it's like a sauna up here. Exploring it with Kyle right now. These were all the servants' rooms. All the workers would stay in here. Take a look at this. This roof was actually open up at one point to bring in sunlight. They're all empty little tiny rooms. And I think this is the very end. So I'm not really gonna bother exploring the other side because I'm pretty sure it looks exactly the same as this hallway right here. I think we should start heading down. The only thing that might be different is over here. What? This must be the attic. I think with that said, we pretty much checked all the floors. We have to just explore the basement. And yo, we can just dodge the vulture by taking the stairway down. Oh uh, yeah, you want to just go down? Oh, which way? It's on the opposite side. Oh right, yeah, let's do it. The pass. Right, vulture, sucker. Bye bye. It comes running out. <laughs> it smells so bad. Oh, stink up the whole entire side of the building here. Yeah, all the way down here, it still smells so crazy. It's this. You're almost you as tall as me. People were smaller back then. People were smaller back then. Wow. <laughs> this makes me awesome. feel. This makes me feel tall. I couldn't walk through that. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> no, you can't. You think I could? Hold on, let me show this. Let me <laughs> It's like a storage. Man, I bet a vulture's in here too, somewhere. Definitely. Oh. Just oh, right here. <laughs> you can't enter, dude. You can't enter. 5-8 yeah, only. 5-8 only. <laughs> Can you turn this on? Oh, we'll walk back here. I didn't even see this kitchen. I'm hearing like electricity running. Alright, you ready, Kyle? Let's do it. Uh, we're heading down to the basement. This is the last floor we have to do. Let's go down to the basement. I heard there's actually tunnels down here that lead miles and miles. Usually like an escape route that they built. I wonder if we can find it. I think it. while I'm down here, I'm just gonna gun and run it. Cause down here is pretty massive and dark. Old shoes. You found old shoes? Big piano. Looks like we have some old like film. Uh, looks like they did some band practice here. <laughs> Look at this though. It's like old film or something. Like a. Like a oh player. yeah, yeah. Dude, it's, a, it's a record player. Is that what it is? Yeah. Is it? No, look, it has like no? film coming out of it. It's oh. video. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's mind. like it's like an old movie theater. It's like thing. yeah, an old film projector maybe. Yeah, projector. That's the word. You got a you got a bending piano here. All the so dishes are still here. All the plates. Even in this cabinet too, as if nothing's been touched or moved. A lot of things is chipping away here though. This is probably all asbestos. There's another empty room. I guess we could have taken these stairs down here too. No, it's all empty. All right, so we explored the right side. Let's keep moving on. What's here in the middle? Oh wow, you got like this old Japanese fan. This kind of looks like a shrine. Hmm. They come down here to pray. This room is pretty creepy. It's kind of a weird place to put these decorations on. But okay. So we just found this tunnel, and it goes. It probably goes down a mile. We can feel a draft, so I think there's like an opening somewhere down here. So when you come in here, it's pretty creepy. And you turn, you go into this dude. It looks like an incinerator. Oh, what the hell? Look. Bro, I was just gonna walk down here. 
serious? Should we go all the way down? Okay. You hear? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Hear that echo? Dude, how long is this stretch for? I don't know. Dude, almost all its way. Oh yeah, careful. It's coming down. Oh, I don't know about that. I can't even see. That's so deep, guys. Dude, it's so deep your flashlight can't even make it to the very end. I have to go for like a mile. Do you think the pool is down here? No. No way. So that's another thing we're trying to find is the pool. Water droplets on the ceiling. Wow, there's so many. <laughs> oh What's that? God. Just condensation down yeah, here? Yeah, just condensation. Looks like there's like diamonds on the ceiling. Yeah, right. I was about to freak out. I thought you saw bugs. Uh, no. I'm sure they're down here too. Though. Yeah. What the heck? It splits. Yeah, it's fun. No way. Oh, I thought I heard footsteps behind. Yeah, I see. Hello. Wait, hold on. The echo makes it Dude, sound like the it. echo. <laughs> sounds like there's footsteps behind. That freaked us out. Shine light down there? Nah, that looks like a dead end. There's no way they don't pull down here. This is like industrial stuff. Yeah, no. You know, you wouldn't want your guys coming down here. Yeah. Oh, you know what this is? What? So this is all the plumbing, I think. Because remember, this house is so old back in the day, like the Gilded Age. Yeah. There wasn't like electricity as a powerhouse like this. So, be so this house actually built its own electrical power plant. It's here. Oh. So I guess it'll be stored underground. So this might be oh, all the crap. plumbing and stuff for it. There's like cords going through that as well, through the copper. That's so nuts. So maybe, I'm probably off a little bit on it, but like this could be like maybe plumbing, or this could be some of the tunnels for like the electrical plant. Because back in the day, they could have power all this. Huh. Which is like normal electricity, you know? Wow. Should we keep going or nah? I don't know. I don't know if it's yeah, worth it. I don't think it's worth it. It's getting dark too outside. I think we should head back. Yeah, let's oh, go back. Water just dripped on me. I know. Yeah. We're gonna head out of this tunnel. Right. We could keep going, going, but like, I don't know. We still have more to see. I'm sure the pool is somewhere more accessible. But you heard Kyle, he said that maybe down there there was like their own plumbing system that generated power to hold the entire mansion because this place was never ran through a power generator. Maybe. I mean, it has to be. This is the only wing we have to explore. Right. It's like an empty room again. Wow. It's like a little library down here. What is this thing? What does this say? It's a multi-graph. Huh. I guess this would make some graphs. If you happen to know what this is, leave a comment down below. Just seeing empty rooms. This is the last room down this hall. I was hoping for it to be a pool, but it's not. Where could it be? We're still searching for the pool. I think all these rooms that's down here were like doctor offices. I mean, here's a label that says the person's name. Dr. Luis, Assistant Professor of Apologetics. Yeah, I guess this place was some sort of school at one point. <laughs> Guys, we found another wing. We might be getting lucky. We might be getting warmer and warmer. Huh, these upstairs too. Here. It's just it's just a room that leads to a bathroom? Yeah. yeah that's whack. Where is this? Where is the oh maybe that staircase right there? Should we try that? The one on the we left? Have to find this pool. I know. Uh, okay. Okay. If it's not up here, does that get covered? Dude, it gets covered. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, these steps literally just get covered. It just goes to nowhere. Check it out. Maybe they messed up the plans that they were building this place. Maybe they removed the pool? <laughs> Underneath the staircase that's also a dead end. Maybe they could have blocked it? Nah. Dude, you know what I hate to say? What? I think that pool is down that tunnel. There's I no do, way. I Bro, why would they make so many people walk down that? Right, I don't know. Makes I mean, no sense. So we just brought the whole gang, Andrew and Mo. There's like little icicles. See anyone there? Oh, yeah. That's the calcium deposits. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. yeah, those are calcium deposits. In here, boys. Anything? Uh, nothing really. Just dead ends, but it's like the original foundation looks like. Okay, so we just went to the end of the tunnel. Okay, so this Here's another this stairway, but it's all flooded. No way to get down here, unless you want to swim. 
Tim, realistically, I would sneak in here and sweat. <laughs> I actually would. Definitely. Steve, go take a shower. You need it right now. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it looks like the pipes lead all the way down to this power generator. It makes sense because this would power the mansion. All this water, it'd be like a windmill. It'd be like a water mill powering up this mansion. We found another path down these tunnels. There's miles and miles of tunnels down here. Who would have thought? All right, everyone. So we just made it back to the car. Gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for making it to the very end. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. Also guys, let's try to get this video to over 10,000 thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you really enjoyed about this place. It was awesome exploring with these guys, You're not especially. Even recording, you know that, right? I am recording. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't work with cannons, all right? I work with Sony's. <laughs> anyway, yep. Crew, this is like the last day of the trip. Yep. For Mo, at least. Flying out to Kelly tomorrow. Ditcher. Dude, ditcher. I mean, he's actually not leaving, he's Listen, actually I need ditching. To see okay. Yo, I want everyone to hashtag Mo as a ditcher on the comments. I was just out. But make sure to check them out. Mo Sargi, Kyle McGran, next one with Angelo. That's a wrap. I'm not sure what we're gonna do after this, but I'm hungry. We're all starving. Especially Mo here. You need a Snickers. For success, baby. <laughs> I don't want to fucking Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to live life if you don't want it. I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace.